Hey, it's Michael Lafita from the Luxury Listing Specialist designation. In this video, we're going to talk about expectations on the final walkthrough. You as an agent cannot be more communicative with both a buyer when you represent a buyer as well as when you represent a seller on the expectations from each at the final walkthrough. You don't want any surprises. Of course, the buyer is expecting the home to be in great shape and all the fixtures and personal belongings that are supposed to stay or personal property are supposed to stay are there at the final walkthrough the night before the closing or the morning of and the movers haven't damaged anything. So that's number one. You, you also want to leave any manuals out and garage door openers and anything like that. That's what the buyer is expecting at the walkthrough. The seller, the seller needs to have the home in broom swept condition for the walkthrough. Cupboard should be cleaned out, the refrigerator, the freezers, the attic. Make sure there's no baseball co card collections left in the attic. That needs to be cleaned out as well. So, for example, recently we sold a big home, a $3.1 million home. You'll see a picture come across. And the closing was on a Tuesday. Monday night, they were still packing and still moving out. I reminded the seller over the weekend that if they're if you're not moved out by Monday night, the movers have to at least have everything out of the house and in the garage. So for Tuesday morning's final walkthrough, the, the cleaners are already cleaning. It's professionally clean. It's broom swept and there's nothing in the house. Stuff in the garage is one thing before the closing. We can work something out. It's a lot easier to work it out that way than it's still left in the house. So that's my tip for you. If you're getting value from these types of videos or our podcast or our blog or our book, please leave us a like, leave us a review. Michael Lafito, remember to prove others wrong. Take care.